the heck put modern day ice cream bars in my Wuxia Donghua? Literally name a worse, more out of place sponsorship. I dare you. Hi, welcome in, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bryn and I am an avid BL watcher who has seen way too much to not have picked up on the crazy marketing schemes they've got going on in there. Seriously, this video only covers three shows and I know that I didn't even pick the worst offending scenes in these shows, so. That being said, what I did find was still pretty bad. Let's get right started with Moonlight Chicken where they are advertising cat food. Seriously. The only background I'm going to give you in case you haven't already seen this show is that the whole plot, the whole plot revolves around these characters being dirt poor, like can barely get food to eat poor. All right, let's look at it. Jimbo. The cat's name is Jimbo, by the way. Like Jimbo. Just felt like that was important. Also, remember how I just told you they were dirt poor as like the premise of the show? <laughs> well, great news. They do have enough money to buy on brand cat treats for the cat that I don't think they'd be able to afford. This is just so out of character, but at least the sponsorship means we get a cat in the show. Uh, this is just such a prime example of the Thai BL ad placement. Like, let's just add in a random scene that we weren't going to shoot just so that we can have them give cat food, which also means that we need to give the characters a random cat. Like, that all makes sense. Someone had a meeting about this. Someone sat down in a meeting and decided this was the move. Make it make sense. That is a cat who wants to escape. <laughs> I think he wants to escape. Mmm, yes, can't have an ad placement without a weirdly centered logo where that's the only focus on the whole screen. Yes, my favorite, delicious. Please, not the way the cat tries to avoid eating the treat and they just shove it in his mouth anyways. No, clearly Kitty wasn't interested. Jimbo was not here for that. อร่อยใช่ไหมจิมโบ้คุณรู้ได้ไงว่าแมวอร่อยลุงเค้าทํามาขายเนี่ยเค้าก็ต้องลอง Why is this a selling point? A You better hope that cat food is edible. That's the whole point. And B I don't care if I can eat the cat food. I really don't want to. เอางี้ถ้าเกิดผมลองชิมขนมแมวแล้วเนี่ย Yeah, so they go on like this for a while, so just... That can be the end of this show. So next show we're talking about is Until We Meet Again, which has one of the longest synopses that I've ever seen. Um, and I'm not gonna read it. Like, I know the show is complicated, but it ain't this complicated. Anyways, the only background you really need is that this is the first episode and it is their first day of school. That's it. อุ้ยตายแล้วน่าซีดได้ไงอ่ะ 
Miss Ma'am, we are 11 minutes into the first episode, the first one! I guess, on the plus side, it does tell the audience that the show has budget. Not all of them do. For the record, these two are both vitally important characters, and they will become vitally important friends, and this is how they decided to have the first time they meet go. In an ad placement. In a now unskippable ad placement. Because it's important for the plot. In the ad placement. You want me? This is how you get styes, kids. Yeah, it's eyeliner. Okay, so this is a little while later in the series. As always, it is time to interrupt the plot that was going on right now with a very important makeup break. Her pulling that tube of lipstick out of her apron pocket got more cinematic camera shots than anything else in this entire episode. I swear on my life. Also, she has done nothing to warrant putting on lipstick. Like, it's not chapstick. She's gonna eat right after this. I'm failing to see why they chose to place it here, this ad. Yeah. Hmm. My question exactly! Also, also, if you have clicked away from this tab for whatever reason, this is your cue right now to click back to watch this like 30 second part. It's super quick, I promise, but it's important you have to see it. And then that's it. They just go back to the regularly scheduled plot. So another really big sponsor of the show was Lay's Potato Chips. Ah, one That, I, Lay's, Lay's with an S. Lays. The S is important in this situation. Very important. You brought chips. Lays chips, not lay. Mm. Oh. Ah. Like, I don't even know that you could say that this adds anything. Like, they just have chips. Which, I guess, is the point of an ad placement, but they don't talk about how good the chips are. They just... Eat them. Why does Lay's need to sponsor this show? Lay's has enough people eating the chips already! And then, in a later episode... Oh my god, he ate so many Lay's he passed out! Wait. Never mind. He's just drunk. False alarm, guys. And that's the ad placement we all needed. No talking about it. No mentioning it. It just sits there. He just holds it. Passed out drunk. Just holds the bag of Lay's. Casual. Okay. Watch. Watch. As the chips fall out of the bag. Watch it! Mm. Bye. Okay, moving on. So, Until We Meet Again does this thing where they have these things at the end of some of the episodes called side stories, which is like, that's great, right? Like extra content. We, who doesn't love extra content, right? So, they're all ads. Just ads. Look. I'll save you the misery of watching the whole thing. You don't need to see the whole side story. They don't even try to hide the fact that it's an ad. I will, however, skip ahead for you so that you can watch the best part. So 
For a little bit of background, the one that they're advertising in this side story is like a book app. And um, let's just say they know their target audience. Yeah, so that was pretty, that was pretty right to the heart. They knew what they were getting at when they wrote that ad, which, good for them. I just think it's especially poignant, the fact that they specified that the books come out really fast for when they release. I just, I gotta hand it to them, they know what their audience wants. So there's one more side story ad from Until We Meet Again that I think you should see. พอดีพี่อยากได้รถใหม่เนี่ยก็เลยถือโอกาสเปลี่ยนสีใหม่ไปเลยแล้วพี่ดินนึกยังไงถึงเปลี่ยนเป็นสีแดงเนี่ยพ
这冰品啊，不止奶香浓郁，口感还酥脆。嘿<笑>、哦，嗯，真羡慕吃可爱多长大的人呐、啊。果然还是熟悉的味道，啊！啊，喂，小苹果，你可别打可爱多的主意！哎哎哎！冷战冷战，快帮我 ！Literally, they just stopped trying to make this sensical. Like the last one we watched, like it was a little out there. It was a little silly. But like, they still tried to make it be like a touching moment. At this point, they were just like, I don't know, maybe the donkey wants the ice cream. Huh? Come on, boy! Hey, But then I guess the ending is pretty sweet, so it all worked itself out. I guess today we've learned that in-show advertisements are painful and stupid and honestly overrated and yet underrated, but also deliciously hilarious. Feel free to subscribe, and if you press the little bell icon, then that means you will get notifications when I go live or post a new video. So that you will make sure not to miss the sequel when I do another ad placements episode. As always, thank you so so much for watching. It means the world to me, and I'll catch you in the next one. I really hope this video does well because basically, where there's BL, there's bad ad placement. So there's always another video to be made on the topic. I mean, seriously, why are Thai BL such bad offenders? Like, by far, they are the worst at this. Crazy.